Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how I do my After Effects transitions, sort of the these transitions that you see in a lot of K-pop edits, anime edits, and so on. Now there's only a few key steps that you have to know and it's pretty easy, so let's get right into it. So you want to get whatever clips you're editing, you don't have to split the clips or whatever, that's up to you. But what you want to do is you want to select the motion tile from your effects and presets. You can just search up motion and it should come up. And add it to your clips. I've already added it. So you want to make sure that your output width and your output height are both above 300. Doesn't matter what number or however far. If you scale too small or if you scale too far to a certain side, you might have to edit these, but you shouldn't have a problem. Make sure the mirrored edges are selected. And then make sure your these three little dots, this is your motion blur, is selected here. And then make sure it's selected for your clips. Okay, so now that's just the basics. So now I'm going to find where my next clip changes, which is right here, and let's do a rotation. So I'm going to click the little timer here, and that should bring up this little diamond. I'm going to move it a little bit out, and I'm going to right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, or you could just do F9 and it'll do the same thing. It will bring up this little hourglass here, and what that does is that makes it a lot easier to smoothen out the transitions. Is that a word? I think it's a word. If not, I made it up in the graph editor here. So I'm going to add another keyframe, move it over a little bit, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it about 34 or 33. And I'm going to move that keyframe over 1. I'm going to select here and negative 33. So the negative number of whatever you put for the first keyframe. Then I'm going to open up the graph editor and you should come up with this little arrow looking thing. So what you're going to do is you want to sort of make it look like a slide instead of a little hill, I should say. So, you want to edit the graph, and you can change it to however you think you like it, or however looks best for you. So, I like to make mine look like these little slides. And that's basically it. That's all the steps you need. So, let's look. That's basically what this does. So let's see if it'll play back. So this is what it looks like. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You can do the same thing with the scale as I've done here, and you can do the same thing with the position. It's easier to do it when you have separate dimensions rather than a single position. Separate dimensions is a lot easier to edit the graph to where everything looks like these little arrows. Otherwise, you'll get like this weird sort of looking thing. But this is pretty much it. And I want to do more tutorials like this. I can do them on After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Photoshop. So leave some comments down below on which ones you guys want me to do and I will try my best to do it. Thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers and I will be doing a little giveaway for that. But thank you guys so much for watching.